Alexander, hello, how are you? Hello, fine. Bună ziua. Schönen guten Tag. Do you hear me? Do you see me? Yes, yes, we can, uh, we can hear you. And we have a very nice image behind you as well. Yeah, it's a uh, virtual background, it's not true. Okay, cool. So, uh, first of all, thank you very much, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, question, did you have any uh, speaker with the ties so far? Before or not? Or I'm the first? Uh, you, I think you are about the first one who will uh, get rid of that tie. Listen, so even if my presentation will not be the great, because I don't promise you any graphs, any boring stuff and so on, because I'm not good in this, uh, at least you will uh, remember uh, that the guy was wearing a tie, you know, number one. Number two, you know, the previous speaker was Gutu, which is quite a, what shows that the concentration of the Gutu, Gutus or Gutus per square meter is quite high. And um, are you still with me? Do you still hear me? Yes, 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 very carefully and making notes. Because, you know, it's uh, uh, nice, uh, uh, it's probably a very nice um, uh, idea to have this online presentation, but I always have a, now I have a feeling that I'm just talking to this green point like camera, but, you know, as I'm managing a lot of stuff, I'm trying to manage this as well. Because, Hello. you see, I have a lot of people around me, I mean, what is, uh, what is allowed, uh, so it's my, it's my family, my supporters, and Hello. whatever you do in your life, you do... For your family that's this thing i want to start with yeah good so guys you, they have their waiting room they have a big screen there i have a small one uh you no, know they, they're not very they're, they're not virtual you see even we even we have a dog it's a real dog you can see it okay now guys yeah. they're the, my best supporters you know and even if i'm talking just at the green light you know these guys will help me by the way i'm not so formal now in thai i'll show you i'm just you know like like this, you know. So it's uh, quite uh, casual. So let's start, and I'll I'll tell you uh, what will be my presentation about. I'm just starting by a timer. Um, well, probably a lot of speakers today they said, "Well, we are living in difficult times. Nobody knows what will happen and so on." But the idea is, uh, guys, uh, sometimes we have to reinvent ourselves, and sometimes we have to do something new. Sometimes we have to do something which we and never did before. And therefore, I'll uh, share with you my presentation. Okay, so the presentation is called How to Dive into the Unknown Business and Build a Market Leader. Uh, again, before we continue, uh, mind that after this crisis, which nobody will know uh, how long will it last and so on, uh, well, a lot of people probably they'll continue their business, but there are some which will definitely need to find a new niche. Uh, they will find a, a probably new area. Uh, and uh, what I'd like to show you today is it's absolutely possible. And I did it a number of times in the past. Uh, and uh, what will be today, it will be not theory at all. It will be just practice. So basically, I'll not teach you how to do it. Uh, I'll show you how we actually did it. Yeah? But before I pass to my humble person, what is MGA? Uh, who knows what is MGA? Please raise your hands up. That's, I can see you. So, of course, I do not see you. MGA is actually minimum guaranteed audience. I already showed you. I have minimum guaranteed four people plus Arthur is five. Maybe you're 100, maybe 1,000, maybe 2,000. But actually, it will be useful for any of you. So, you see this guy. Uh, I don't know if you know this guy, but actually, his name is Michael. And it's Michael really. It's uh, the Irish businessman. Um, who actually uh, studied uh, finance and the uh, Irish tax system, but he dived, naturally dived into a completely unknown um, business for him. And uh, this business is called aviation. So he is actually CEO of Ryanair, of course, the most successful low cost airline in the world. And he is actually a billionaire. Well, he has one billion something, but he is a billionaire. It's the first example. Number two, you probably know this guy as well. Not just he's Richard, but he's also Richard Branson. Well, he's a professional diver because he dived so many times in his life uh, from uh, the well student magazine into the uh, recording label and then uh, to 
trains, uh, airlines, uh, Virgin Galactic, and so on. So he is a really professional diver. And of course, uh, this is something, well, these are really inspirational examples. Uh, watch out the next one. George. Of course, you know George. Uh, it's brilliant, brilliant uh, actor and uh, civil activist. But um, don't forget, just recently he dives into the tequila market, and also recently he sold to Daijeo. Uh, uh, he sold it uh, for one billion dollars. The brand called Casamigos. So, isn't it a nice and inspirational example of divers? Okay, but let's um, switch to myself. I'm not George Clooney, I'm not Michael O'Leary, and I'm not even Richard Branson. I'm Alexander Guto. Okay, your photo can be here. Maybe uh, in whatever months or years, you can be also be a professional diver into different um, type of businesses. This is me, well, some, some, some time ago. As you see, I'm not wearing the tie all the time. Well, I graduated from the um, I graduated from the uh, Academy of Civil Aviation. So basically, I had a dream uh, to fly to see a lot of countries, uh, new emotions, and so on. So on the on the on the screen you see Paris Dakar. I made just Paris Dakar five times as a pilot and uh, also commercial director of the airline because I actually uh, almost immediately. Uh, became a commercial director of that small charter line from uh, based in Moldova, but never flew in Moldova, always somewhere uh, from, I don't know, from France to Colombia and to, I don't know, China. Uh, so actually, Dakar was, well, people were paying like $3,000 to come for two nights and we even getting some money for that. But this is one of the story. Secondly, I was a co-organizer, let's say, of the biggest skydiving event in, uh, in, the, in Europe, in the Vichy. Uh, well, flying and also organizing, so really, really nice. So all my patients uh, was, you know, concentrated in Vichy, you know, several years in a row in the months of uh, August. And also, of course, I worked on the, if you see on the right uh, corner, uh, the best private airline in uh, Moldova at that time, it was Air Moldova International. I was a really proud member of this as the vice president of the airline. And I also uh, used uh, to work for the world, world leaders like uh, Team Lufthansa here in Germany or Bombardier Aerospace in, uh, uh, in Canada. Uh, so as you see, uh, I just accumulated all the possible have uh, experience possible. Uh, so from, from the uh, sense of uh, Africa to the uh, you know, nice offices in uh, Germany or Canada or Moldova. And actually, I can say that I know pretty much everything about aviation now. But at a given moment, you know, and as I told you, uh, by the way, just thanks to my son, Maximilian, who tried to make this globe rotating. And I, I didn't know how to do it. But 78 countries I accumulated so far, so actually my dream of traveling. Uh, so I was just in time before COVID started. So I was traveling quite intensively and somehow now it all stopped. Of course, it, we will recover in like, I don't know, four or five weeks, slowly, slowly. But when I just traveled 78 countries and uh, well, uh, I said, mm, is, this, is this still okay? And I decided, okay, I will, I will probably still fly, but for my pleasure. I don't need to fly, or I don't, I don't even, I don't have to manage an airline, and I don't have to fly. Uh, I need to do something else. And actually, once you know how to manage an airline, then you know how to manage pretty much everything. Because actually, it's very complicated business, you can see now. So all the airlines in the world, they're just collapsing, you know, uh, every day and uh, well just the strongest will survive by the way Ryanair will survive uh, some big players maybe not like American Airlines or whatever but let's switch and then aviation dives into healthcare when we are talking about the diving 
we better, for you better, for whoever better, does it by passion or a mission, or try to do it both. Actually, this is, this is my idea. So, I mean, uh, I didn't finish any business schools. It doesn't come for any presentation. It's just, you know, my words. So, believe it or not. But the fact is, uh, by uh, this case was a specific mission uh, because I felt like a mission because I had the personal problem with uh, my mother uh, and, and I felt completely 100% how um, was the medical system in Moldova. So for, any, um, for any serious medical issue, uh, people had either to die or to, to seek the health abroad. What we actually did, so we need an MRI, so it's, well, it's a imaging equipment. Uh, in Moldova, it was just only one at the time. Well, this CDG is the company I'm talking about. Uh, it's called German Diagnostic Center or Central Diagnostic German. Uh, the color comes uh, also from Siemens because we have a, a special partnership with Siemens, but coming back to the idea. Um, so, you know, in uh, 2007, it was just one single MRI and eight CTs in the machine in, in, in Moldova. And the medical system was really, I would say, now in Germany is kaput. Or the, so actually it was, uh, well, the people who, the, the countries I'm talking about uh, now, probably the, 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 well, 13 years ago, it was more or less the same. Ukraine, Russia, Moldova, maybe better Poland or Romania and so on. What we tried to, to I was lazy, honestly. This one well, is uh, the screenshot, uh, screenshot from um, my uh, article to one medical uh, magazine. So I was so, you know, uh, brave. I was, I, I was even writing to the medical magazines, you know. So this was from 2012, so eight years ago. So uh, I didn't tell them that I'm, I'm coming from aviation, actually. Well, now what we did. So shortly, of course, we, knew, we, we used the German know-how. We had uh, German investors, German partners. And then we imported, so that's why I'm saying about the original experience. Uh, we imported uh, the um, experience from aviation. So if you're coming now to the German, so German Diagnostic German in Moldova, you will see a lot of aviation stuff. So first medical call center, and on the right side, it's actually the, the photo of the doors of our call center. The first medical call center was in, in, in our center. It actually comes from aviation. You're combining the uh, synergy and the experience from different field, and you can try to implement it in different field. First reservation system, uh, recent packs, so recent packs are the OG information system and picture archive and communication system. So this is the first system which costed a tremendous 360,000 euro uh, 11 years ago, huge money, and probably were, were the first and last who did it in Moldova. Workflows, a lot of workflows coming from our German partners here. We started a lot of uh, centers, how did they do once so one, the best practice, and also some stuff comes from aviation. SOP stands for standard operation procedures and training. So we selected out of 120 applicants, just 12 lucky people, most of them young. They started in uh, Germany and Austria, and they are brilliant. I'm so proud of my team, so that we choose these people like 11 years ago, and during the time, of course, we expanded the team, and we have now, uh, well, 120 people altogether. Uh, uniforms, dress code, communication standards, it also comes, comes from uh, from aviation, so basically when you come to our center, you see the reception, not ugly, you know, well, sorry, not ugly, but say, you'll see pretty girls, nicely dressed. Well, now it's a bit different because they're all covered with anti-COVID, you know, um, kinds of uh, equipment. I don't recognize them because I'm getting the pictures every day, but uh, they are so well covered. So basically we are taking care about them and about the patients. Uh, and even we had the VIP lounge. Most important, of course, is the medical act. So we invest and continue to invest every single month in the development of our doctors. So they are trained uh, worldwide. They traveled a lot. Everyone has a, a travel budget, uh, you know, which he, can, he or she can spend 
at uh, uh, his or her own discretion where to go, but it should be just medical related and bring some uh, um, uh, interest uh, and uh, use for the clinic. Well, visualize your dreams. So this is the recent, we, uh, recent update. So we always wanted to do something which was never seen before. Even here you see it's, it's a, a, a waiting area in the German Diagnostic Center. You see some Norwegian islands, uh, Lufuten at the background. And if you see on the up, you have the artificial Italian sky. So we are doing everything for the patients, everything for the uh, personal. Well, this is how it looks. Basically, it's in huge contrast with what existed in Moldova till 2007 or 8 when the idea uh, was developed together with the investors. Okay. Top quality is again, is we are the only clinic. If, if you see on this uh, image, on the left side, you see the ambulance from Moldova. On the right side, you see the ambulance from Romania, from Yash. And actually, it means that when the a sick patient, a severely sick patient has to travel to Moldova, which means minimum 300 kilometers round trip and minimum seven hours in route, including our investigation. It means we are doing something exceptional. And we have daily, or we used to have uh, daily patients from Romania and Ukraine. And I don't have to tell you something else. That's it. So, of course, people who, who live in Moldova, who are, who, who are originating from Moldova, they know this company, I'm, I'm really, really proud of this company. And of course, I'm not the one who did it. I'm not the only one, of course. Without the team, you do nothing. So you need a strong team. You need to take care of them. And uh, of course, uh, some numbers. I promise I will not make you any graphs, but just a few numbers about uh, German Diagnostic German. I'm just watching my, my time. I'm okay. It's a uh, 10 million investment. Uh, during 10 years, uh, 1.3 million medical examinations. Now we have 120 employees, uh, EBITDA is 33%, and we are market leader since 2010. I can tell you something else, remarks. So we've completely changed the medical services market. So before, I mean, after our uh, opening and our, after our successful operations, more and more private clinics have opened, which is really nice. Strong team. We have never to stop and develop and learn. So we are always learning. Latest medical technologies. Well, even I can tell you this week in full crisis, when everybody is complaining, we don't know how we'll survive. We have installed the newest uh, cardiac ultrasound from Siemens and the latest uh, labor analyzer from Roche from Switzerland. Who does this in crisis? Just the market leaders. Differentiate or die? Well, we always, uh, we always uh, differentiate. We are very different from others. Uh, and let them better follow you, of course. Well, if you, the people who are living in Moldova, just think how many medical institutions have adopted the green color, our color, or, well, gradients from our color. So many, I, want, I don't want to name, but you'll see they will follow us even in the colors. It's nice, we like green color. Uh, and this is what I was working for for the last 10 years. This is our team. Excellent, uh, fantastic team. We've organized uh, on our 10th anniversary a Viennese uh, ball in, in Kishinev, the Sala uh, Well, we had uh, absolutely fantastic uh, 10 years anniversary. And then, uh, of course, again, uh, we are here to stay. We will be market leader. And we, we are actually not just uh, uh, local, we also have some um, ideas for the and projects in, uh, in, um, in other countries, not just Moldova. Okay, but people who are, I don't know, selling tomatoes at the market or whoever have some small businesses and say, well, these guys had access to the investors and 10 million uh, euros, how can we reinvent ourselves to, to, to get 10 million? And of course, it's, Nobody will give it to us. Uh, and for these guys, uh, I have prepared some, um, something else. I told you that you have to be based either on mission or on passion. In the picture, you have, uh, you see my wife. Her name is Anastasia. 
Uh, and of course, uh, well, she, uh, her background is uh, financial background. She actually was studying uh, economics, but her real passion uh, was, uh, her real passion was uh, uh, Patty Sree. I'm really lucky husband that at home we have, you know, every day, lots of funny things and really, really tasty. Uh, but uh, we decided somehow to share with the people. And as you see to Rafael here, uh, we really, uh, well, I, uh, with a lot of people probably who are watching, I don't know how many are watching actually this presentation, but uh, I graduated from school um, number uh, one, school number one, Liceo Lasaki. So actually my French is très, 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 très bien. So I'm so actually i just had in this project just to support rope uh, for my wife i used my french connections french language by the way learn languages as many as you can i know six and they help me every day um so and here finance dives into participatory so actually again now this part is about um uh, the institution which is also uh, well, 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 known in Moldova, and not just in Moldova. It's called Crème de la Crème. Uh, well, the translation is like best of the best, of course, you know it. But a uh, few points about this. So learn from the best. Let's say, in our case, uh, we just uh, invited the world champion in the three most states for Meilleur Ouvrier de France, Guy Bergement, who really showed us a lot of things. Uh, how could we, uh, how could we do really the French way, not Moldovan way, the, but the French way. Uh, then, of course, we um, we use the French know-how, and you don't have to have any fear. Whatever the business you are trying to dive in, no fear. Of, of course, you have to be reasonable. Yeah. So if you're trying to lift, I don't know, uh, 300 kilos, whatever, I mean doesn't matter how motivated you are, but you'll never do it. So you have to be reasonable, but still risky. Work hard. So work hard is the cornerstone. You definitely have to work hard. Love your team. Uh, it's, well, it comes maybe from the heart. So actually it's not something that we learn somewhere. Well, you have to love your team and then you, your business will run. No, it comes from the heart. If you are, if you are a good person, then, well, honestly, when I'm hiring a team, I always, my first criteria is not how clever, how, uh, how many diplomas has in the, uh, on the wall and so on. The number one criteria is if, is it a good person, positive person, uh, or a negative person. If it's positive, it's a goal we can discuss the other stuff. By the way, about positive, you know, it was a joke. Like you say, 2019, stay away from uh, negative people. 2020, stay away from positive people. But, you know, it's just a game, just not good as yet. And, of course, treat your guests like best friends. So the most attention you have to pay to your guests because the guests, the, the guests, we don't even call them customers. They're guests, guests, guests. You have to take care about them properly. So location, location, location. Of course, if you're talking about this kind of business, location is extremely important unless you are somehow a uh, delivery company well, it actually doesn't, doesn't matter what do you cook. But this one who recognizes is one of the best locations in, uh, in uh, Moldova. Well, really beloved. Uh, and the clients are coming every day. Uh, guests are enjoying it, but location is very convenient and nice. Create something unique and cozy. That's what extre what's extremely important for this kind of business. Uh, I would say for every type of business, unique. If you do something unique, that's the good step. If you do something average, like everybody else, that your chances are gradually, you know, going down outside dramatically. So differentiate, do something unique, do something special, be warm-hearted. That's what will help you. Well, no compromise on quality. That's number one. Uh, so quality in whatever you do, it's really important things. So no jokes, no kidding, no compromise. Feel good. It's important that the clients, they feel good. Whatever, it's patisserie, it's your, I don't know, company, it's uh, your relations. 
the people have to feel good. Once they don't feel good, you lose them. And most of the time, forever. Well, about this one, this is a real pictures from this patisserie, proud of my wife again. Combine classic and brand new stuff. Some brand new stuff, okay, classics in our case come from France, and brand new stuff, we're investing a lot of money in all kinds of trainings. So Anastasia and some uh, colleagues, they are traveling mostly to France, Paris, uh, or let's say Barcelona, or uh, here in Germany. Uh, so actually, we always develop, or actually she develops, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And uh, always fresh and yummy. Again, it's not just about the patisserie. Stay, try your business, always to stay fresh. And also yummy. If you are, you know, if you are expired, nobody will like you anymore. You have to be crispy, fresh. Love your team. Of course, this is, uh, this is our team, not, not the entire team, because the entire team is roughly 45 people. Uh, we love them, really, so we are like friends. And of course, you have to care about your customers. But once you love, once you give love to your team, they will also take better care of your customers. That's important. And always exceed expectations in any business. So you promise something, but you deliver a little bit more. That's, that's important. And again, of course, I'm subjective, but uh, I can tell you that this specific creme de la creme location in uh, Moldova, it's the market leader since 2011. So actually this is, uh, what can I tell you? We have customers, we have a reputation, uh, so we are developing, we are delivered the highest standard. But again, this is valid for every business. And if you want to stay the market leader, you always have to stay up to date. Well, now, uh, this is just uh, the thing which uh, uh, we launched yesterday. This is anti-COVID, no, no face mask, no entry. That's uh, the thing which you actually have to observe. And we, in this case, actually, can we combine three industries, aviation, medical, and uh, patisserie. Because our standards, let's say in patisserie, hygienical standards or uh, patient security or customer security standards are uh, higher in, than in some hospitals. No offense to say, but this is so. So actually we also use kind of medical assessment so uh, people are not coming with uh, high temperature um, or the, if they're coughing, they're not allowed. Uh, we have the protection screens, we have the uh, social distance indicators, we have, uh, uh, you know, flows in, flows out. Uh, we have uh, delivery, you know, contactless stuff and so on. So actually, this again, we have to be up to date and especially care about the customers. You see, I'm always looking at, the, at my watch to be in time. And remember. Yeah, you still have. You, ha you, 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 have, to, you have to drink water. So, of course. Uh, whatever business you are starting, you have to create something which is needed, which is the, the, some, something. So your idea has to bring something to the people, something they can, they really need. Uh, you know, that's important. Again, no fear, learn hard and innovate. That's important. Then one more uh, important thing, risk. And then sleepless nights are guaranteed. So of course, uh, I or we, we had uh, tons of sleepless nights. Uh, actually, little secret, uh, my inspiration usually comes during the night, so I just wake up, I don't know, 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning, I write something, and then next morning I just crystallize, and then we can, we can already start the, the thing. So sleepless nights, I think that uh, that's, comes together with the, um, with the notion of businessman or uh, entrepreneur. And, uh, of course, it's absolutely different when, well, we have uh, uh, speakers uh, which are coming from the huge companies, uh, and of course, the uh, whatever uh, staff members they don't have personal risks. In our case, we combine, of course, a lot of personal risk, and it's absolutely, it's absolutely different. If we don't survive, we don't survive ourselves, and also, well, 120 people at the clinic and uh, 50 uh, at the at the patisserie. So altogether, it's 170 with the family members. We are talking about 500 people easily. 
Therefore, of course, there are different businesses, different managers, but again, we have social responsibility and uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have to be inventive and we, we don't have to sleep now. We have to work <laughs> now. And of course, nobody can guarantee you that you will succeed. You may fail, but what if you will not? What if, what if you will not fail? Then you can build the next market leader. That's, isn't it the good news? So you can really build the market leader. Again, remember, it was no theory. It was just a history. And we started it you know, with no knowledge in the uh, specific field. We dived in it and we build the market leaders. That's really, I believe it's really valuable information for everyone who is thinking, well, what's next? What's my next step? Uh, yeah, and um, so again, I'm still flying almost every week, but for, for pleasure. Uh, I'm just running on that plane, I'm flying a little bit and I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm, I'm paying for this now, but uh, you do things to afford this, again. Uh, this is me. Uh, I can do something now. Ties off. And Artur, thanks again for the invitation. And now, Thank you, Alexandro, it was uh, an interesting uh, uh, story. So you are giving an example to a lot of Moldovans that they have to get rid rid of modesty, and they have to promote themselves at international level. I think the uh, I think the story is not just Moldovan; it's international. Uh, Eastern uh, European, I would say. Yeah, I mean, don't don't forget the guys at the beginning of the presentation. So they have nothing to do with Eastern Europe, but they are just diving in on now and then. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Alex. See you soon at uh, Creme de la Crema. Hopefully, uh, in a better situations, better times uh, above this uh, this crisis. I can Thank tell you, uh, I, I'm I'm hundred percent. Uh, well, if you allow me, just one more minute. Uh, I'm not uh, pessimistic by nature, uh, and I'm, uh, well, very optimistic even in these times. Why? Because, uh, um, you know, it's not a war, uh, it's not a, uh, well, irreversible situation. So basically, economically, of course, it will be hard times, but uh, people will survive. I'm 100% sure. We will help. Let's say we are, help, we are helping our employees to survive. We are fighting. We are staying positive. I think stay positive is one of the things which is really important. So if you're starting to complain, uh, la, 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 that's basically doesn't work. So you have to be, you know, you, we, the leader doesn't have the right uh, to, to be disparate, you know. So he has to go. You have to be really strong, move forward, and then people will follow you. That's how do real market leaders and social leaders and so on. Thank you very much, Alexander.